Welcome to a brief demonstration of Small Town Tales. I'm Angie. I'd like to show you how you can have fun creating stories using Small Town's simple framework and an episode called Neural Calm Nightmares. I am playing solo to quickly give you an idea of how the game plays. I encourage you to download this free episode from the game's website. I'll start by showing you Tabletopia, an online gaming platform where you can play Small Town Tales for free. Let's look at the game setup. Up top are four plot structure cards. These contain an outline you'll use to connect and guide your story from start to finish. I'm going to pick the first plot structure, a dystopian, utopian society theme. The scenes I'll create will follow the stages shown, from introduction to resolution. At the bottom are the four cards I picked from the story deck, for my opening scene after I reviewed the episode's character outlines and setting backgrounds. I was drawn to Dawn Dangerous, whom I'll say is the doctor responsible for the surgeries installing the neural calm implants in young infants. In my opening scene, I want to start with the growing terror Dawn feels as her infant patients begin dying, just days after the implant procedure. Dawn suspects the chip lot of the Neurocom implant is defective, but fears for her job if she raises the concern to the Global Medical Directorate. Let's get started. Set in 2137, in rural small town, the story begins. Baby Mary's mother is crying and slumping over as her husband holds her. The Universal Minister pronounces. So, we commit Mary to the Universal God Almighty. As the tiny casket drawn by a conveyor inches closer to the crematorium, soon, baby Mary's ashes will be deposited in an ornate urn, appearing next to a small glass door where the family can collect it. Dr. Don looks to the side, thinking how this was the third death this month due to a chip rejection. I am so sorry for your loss. Dawn shares with the mother, as she slowly steps backwards. Time stands still, as the tiny casket is finally covered by a curtain. The minister utters flowery words that laud the parents and the eternal nature of their souls, someday reuniting with baby Mary. Dr. Dawn slowly withdraws from the ceremony, wondering if she should raise the issue or hide it to protect her job and livelihood. So, this concludes my first scene. You can see how I used the advice from each story card to guide, not dictate, my story. I want to save the secrets or unrevealed information character card for later by placing it in my pool. And, I will form my personal discard pile from the cards selected for this scene. So now I can draw replacement cards for my hand. I am going to draw one. A character card, about a character's background. The second, an activity card about helping another. And, a third card. City Park, a setting card asking me to consider the effects of the climate. Let's keep drawing cards. Next, I draw an enhance card. This asks me to introduce a subplot or parallel activity to the scene. And I'll draw one more card, an activity card, that allows me to introduce a shocking plot twist. That's enough cards. I don't want to bust by drawing three cards of the same type into my hand, so I'll stop here. Let me think, okay. I am going to play the first three cards here. One, okay, two, and three. Four, my second scene. Then, since I have an enhance card, I'll enhance this scene. Let's begin. Small Town's mayor Misha Mayhem is helping the elderly and handicapped citizens of Small Town gather around the pergola in the city park. Can you put me in the shade? I hope it doesn't get to 120 today, complains an elderly lady in a wheelchair. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the supplement points for listening to her damn speech, an old man interjects. Soon Misha begins her mandatory monthly update to the citizens of Small Town. I am so proud of our citizens, who have saved over 120,000 gallons of water this year by implementing our water wisdom guidelines. Misha beams. Because of your sacrifice, Small Town will receive 50 extra allotments of community food units from the directorate. The audience claps, but unenthusiastically, and only after the younger city council members begin. So, that is my second scene, but I want to use the enhance card to create a subplot. Let me place that after these cards. Major Shilo Shifty begins walking toward the podium. Misha, I need to make an announcement. Citizens, I need everyone to calmly return to your residential units. 
I have just received word that the neighboring state is mounting an invasionary force. We'll need each of you to implement Code 3 procedures, locking doors and windows, staying in your units until further notice. The Major grabs Misha's arm and pulls her aside. It's a DEFCON 2 scenario, Misha. I need your cooperation. Well, this concludes my second scene enhanced with a subplot. You can see how the story cards helped guide my imagination and how the plot structure cards gave me ideas for how to connect my scenes together to create a compelling story. Check out our library of award-winning authors contributing to this community-driven project. Small Town Tales is easy to learn and a blast to play. Whether with family, friends, students or solo, start crafting unforgettable tales today.